Hello, welcome to the second video in the series about uh, free software replacements for common services online. And this time I want to talk about a replacement for an unethical uh, service called Discuss. Discuss is, um, is a service that is used commonly used to provide a commenting uh, user interface for people to leave comments in your in your blog, your web page, or whatever. Uh, what it just requires is dropping a small line of code. It's a JavaScript uh, application that embeds in your page. So uh, whenever you want to show the commenting box, you show that uh, JavaScript that it embeds itself and then saves the comments in their ser servers and they do all kind of tracking and um, all sorts of privacy invasive um, stuff. Um, so uh, there's a lot of surveillance going on with um, with Discuss, uh, and that includes uh, sending your data to major players like Google, Facebook, uh, Twitter, etc. Um, apart from their own uh, collecting and processing. So um, there are other alternatives uh, because that service is. Uh, it's useful and that's why it's popular because uh, you may want to have a web page that is a static website or uh, something that uh, you don't want to deal with the um, uh, variation that adding comments includes and the, uh, the user interaction uh, that it adds because uh, that's uh, typically uh, hard to handle and in the it has an impact in performance. So uh, the alternative that I want to talk about is Comento. Uh, uh, go to Comento.io and uh, you'll see that uh, this is the user interface that provides. It allows you to add some comments. Uh, uh, there is a comment box that gets added to wherever in the, in the page you, you decide. And then uh, Comento deals with it from there uh, so you don't have to to worry so i implemented this in my website and this is uh what it looks like for instance let's go to the this blog post um if you scroll down you'll see that there is a comments box and uh, after that uh, it just allows me to log in and then uh, it shows the comments in in here um, and it allows you to style these comments as you wish uh, which is very important uh, for many people because uh, these services typically don't allow you to uh, theme the comments to your needs um, I'm using the um, default styles because I just happen to like them but you could definitely uh, put your own styles. There is a, a configuration key for you to inject your CSS style sheets, if you know what that means. Uh, in order to do this, what I had to do is I wrote, um, I ran my site using Jekyll, and I wrote my uh, own plugin for Jekyll uh, here, um, and I'm self-hosting this, which is uh, kind of the point of all these videos. Um, but you'll see here that uh, you could just do this, and that's all that it takes to have comments in your website. Um, so um, pretty simple. Um, as I said, I am self-hosting this. Um, I installed, using the documentation, I installed this, and I have a PostgreSQL database, uh, and I I just have every comment in my own servers, uh, which is which is nice. And then in in my in my server, I I ping my own server for for this, so I don't uh, provide this data to anyone else. So this is what um, the admin interface looks like. And allowing, allowing me to, up. Oh, I'm already logged in. Um, so it just tells you um, to how to uh, inject the JavaScript that I showed you. It gives you some moderation settings uh, because you can go and in your in your site just go and click uh, moderate and uh, remove spam, as you saw from this um, here automated spam detection and moderation tools. In here uh, so this is what it looks like it comes with some statistics uh, and it allows you to import the comments from discuss um, so that is nice as well um, you'll see that in 
in the documentation, if you scroll in their site down here, developers uh, free, sorry, nah, that's not what I meant. Um, in the documentation, you go to um, installing Comento self-hosting on your server. Uh, there are detailed instructions on how to install this and how to configure the, um, the backend for this. Uh, so uh, you'll need to have your uh, database and add the, uh, the URL for that, etc. It's not very complicated stuff, but you definitely know, need to know what you're doing uh, when installing this. And yeah, uh, so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much everything that I I wanted to um, to show. Um, also, it gives you some moderation tools, but here, um, well, uh, I cannot moderate my own comments. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoy the the video, and if you have uh, suggestions on what to cover next, um, I'm happy to. Uh, to fulfill those, those suggestions. That's it. I hope you liked it.